I know this might upset some people. I know this might make some people mad, but it's crystal clear obvious to me who I'm voting for this year. I have absolutely no choice. I am voting for. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for being here once again. So before any of you guys try to jump on my head about this video, about the title, the thumbnail, etc., etc., I want you to listen to the context of why I'm making this video. Let's take it back to my childhood. Now growing up black, we were always taught to vote Democrat. And that's because when I was growing up, we were a low income family. We were always taught if you were low income or middle class, then you vote Democrat because the Democratic Party always had the low income and middle income families best interests at heart. And when you're a kid, you don't really understand the politics. You just understand and you have it ingrained in your mind that once you get older, you're gonna vote Democrat. I remember we qualified for free lunch because we were a low income family. Ooh boy, I love that free lunch and that free breakfast. And it was just to my understanding that, well, if you're a low income family, you get certain perks. And if you made too much money, then you would vote Republican and you wouldn't have some of those perks that the lower income families had. That was my understanding as a kid. Now, obviously fast forward to me being a grown man and I can look at things from a different perspective. And as the years have gone by, I've been kind of raising my eyebrows at certain things that I've been seeing in politics when it regards to both Democrats and Republicans. Now, obviously, the election is coming up in about two weeks, and I believe it's going to be one of the most important elections of our entire nation. We've got Kamala Harris on the Democratic Party, and then we've got Donald Trump on the Republican Party. Now, I can honestly say that seeing both sides of the spectrum, Democratic Party and Republican Party, over these last several years, I can say that there are certain things that the Democratic Party has done that has made me go, hmm... Gas prices have skyrocketed, groceries have gone up, rent keeps going up, and people aren't being paid enough in their wages. And all of this is happening while the Democratic Party is in office. And as much as I had a bias towards Donald Trump because I just naturally had this in me because I was raised to vote Democrat, I naturally had a hate and disdain for Donald Trump when he became president, just for the simple fact that he was Republican. But as I look back over the pandemic years, because Donald Trump was a pandemic president, I can honestly say that even though there was a pandemic going on, things were actually better for us economically when Donald Trump was a president. We had more money in our pockets, we were getting paid more, and we were working less. There were more opportunities for jobs, and there was a huge prevention on getting people evicted from their homes that couldn't afford them because of what was going on during the pandemic. And this was all going on during Donald Trump's presidency. Now here we are. Joe Biden has been the president for the last four years. And taking a step back and looking at things from both sides, I can honestly say that our country and myself felt better when Donald Trump was in office as opposed to when Joe Biden has been in office. Now, this is my opinion. And if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Now, no politician is without dirt. There was no candidate that was without dirt. Everybody's got dirt. I'm not saying that Kamala Harris is a saint, and I'm not saying that Donald Trump is a saint either. But I, what I am saying is look at the candidate that's going to do right by our country. Kamala Harris keeps talking about when she was the attorney general, she did this and she did that. Okay, but what about all of the hundreds of thousands of black men that you incarcerated while you were a prosecutor? She's talking about she wants to legalize weed, but a lot of the people that she prosecuted and had locked up were locked up because of weed. She's got all these celebrities coming out to dance at her rallies. She had Meg the Stallion come out. She, she could twerk. What? And what she's doing is not slick. We can see this from a mile away. What she's doing is she's trying to gain favor in the black community so that she can get the black votes. And how do a lot of black people come up? As low income families. Because a lot of these families are taught to vote Democrat. It's ingrained in you as a child. As I start to sit back and really look at things and become more mature about the situation about Donald Trump and stop being so immature and one-sided, I can see that the media has tried to paint a terrible picture about who this man is. Again, I'm not saying he's a saint, but what I am saying is that he's not as bad as what the media tries to portray him to be. And I can honestly say, I feel like the things that he wants to do and implement for our country is a lot more beneficial for us than what Kamala Harris is trying to do for the country. First of all, this is a woman who is all about the LGBTQ community, or however many letters they have now. 
and pushing that agenda off on children. On children, they have teachers in schools that are telling students that they can identify however they want to identify because it's their free right to do so. She's okay with a man going into a woman's restroom because he identifies with being a woman. Huh? And the one that really put the nail in the coffin for me with Kamala Harris is she's okay with mocking Christians. I'm a Christian. Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And over 50 to 60% of the U.S. population is Christian. Why in your right mind would you think it would be okay to mock Christians and then expect to win the election? Somebody make that make sense. Donald Trump, on the other hand, loves God. Donald Trump wants to go work at McDonald's. Donald Trump wants to put more money in our pockets. Donald Trump wants to do more for the working man and woman. Donald Trump truly wants to make America great again. And I never thought I would say that, ever. But again, when you take a step back and you start to look at both sides, you really have to ask yourself, who is a proper candidate to make our country better? Who is really looking out for our country's best interests at heart? Because a candidate that has good values, that also wants to build our nation under God, is the best candidate for our country, in my opinion. At the end of the day, we need to make a decision. And I implore you to make the best decision, not just for yourself, but for your children. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want my son going to school being told by his teachers that he can identify with a girl if that's what he feels like calling himself. That he can go to school dressed up as a cat and then call himself a cat because he's a cat and not a human being. And then have the audacity to not even tell the parents that that's what's going on because they have the legal right to do so. This is what the Democrats are pushing. Let's take a step back as adults and say, forget about the parties. Forget the Democratic Party, forget the Republican Party. Let's look at who the best candidate is for our country. Who is a candidate that is going to make our country better? Who is a candidate that wants to build our country on godly values? When you take a step back and you start to examine these things, then you will really see who the best candidate for president is of the United States. As for me, myself, as a black man, I think it's safe to say that it's time for me to make a shift this year. I think at this point, it is crystal clear who I'm voting for. And if you're unclear, I'll give you a hint. It ain't Kamala Harris. Post your comments down below and let me know what you guys think about this election. Who do you feel is going to be the best candidate for a president? Who do you feel is going to make our nation great? Who do you feel is going to make our nation better? And always remember to keep her friendly because we're all a family here after all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos that I post. And as usual, I love you guys. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.